All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Machar Kodash. Um, with that being said, hey, um, I wanted to get into this lesson um, with uh, dealing with in the chapter of Nehemiah. You know, chapter of Nehemiah um, depicts what needs to be done with Yahshua Allah. Nehemiah chapter one. You know what I'm saying? And this is a this is a um, a chapter which goes in and um, illustrates what needs to be done as the elect, what the elect needs to do, the, the steps that needs to be taken. You know what I'm saying? Because it just, uh, uh, it, it's, a, it's just like Job. You know what I'm saying? Job had that scenario with the, explaining how the elect should go through and go through trials and be able to walk, um, take that persecution, take that uh, affliction and um, not lose your integrity. Well, Nehemiah tells us on how to... Uh, get about this um bondage and what's the steps to take because what what did the scriptures say um in baruch well um i like to bring out is that we were sold to the nation not for our destruction but because we moved the whole most high to anger you know what i'm saying and, and and it was about spiritual fornication and not keeping the commandments and just you know um going on whoring at the other nations all right so um in verse um I started verse 3, and then my chapter 1, verse 3, it says, And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity there in the province are in affliction and reproach. The wall of Jerusalem is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. So see, this, you know, Israel Israel is in a state of uh, of affliction. You know what I'm saying? We're in a state of affliction. Our nation, and at that time, are in a state of affliction. And we're in a state of affliction now. You know what I'm saying? And it says the walls of Jerusalem are broken down. All right. What is the walls? The walls is your defense. All right. Doesn't it say that no man shall buy us, no man shall save us? You know what I'm saying? Even now, we, we don't have no defense. Only thing we have of, of, of defense is Yahweh by Shimmy Yahushai in these scriptures. Okay. Which is Yahweh Shai? Yahweh Shai is the word. Okay. It says, in the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the power of heaven. So that's that's one of the first steps to do what? Fast and to pray. Fast and to pray before the most high. Alright? Half half of J can't fast. It takes it takes discipline to fast. It takes self control. Alright? It says and, and said, I beseech thee, O Lord, power of heaven, the great and terrible power that keepeth covenant and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. All right? So that's that's it right there. But you got these um, modern-day Christians that will tell you that you don't have to keep the commandments. You know what I'm saying? First off, let's let's get this in John. All right? It says, uh, St. John chapter 14, verse 23, it says, Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, If a man love me, you know, y'all y'all talk about love, 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 and you don't want to deal with hate. So let's deal with love. How shall I answer and say that unto him, if a man love me, he will keep my words. And if my father lo will love him, and we will come unto him and make our bowl with him. He that loveth me not, keep not my sayings. And the word which ye hear is not mine, but the father's which sent me. Okay? So... What's what's love? If you, what's how you prove your love to to the Most High? How about Shimei Shai? You keep His sayings, man. You keep His sayings all the way through and through. Okay, you don't sit there and 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 cherry pick on the word of the Most High. Okay, so that's how you can tell with some. And a lot of you you Christians and, and you just generic niggas don't keep the sayings, man. You know, oh praise Jesus, God, God, glory to God. He woke us up this morning. Smashing on a fucking shrimp casserole and shit. You know what I'm saying? Lined up, butter lined up, shaved face. You know? All kind of other madness, man. Not even being occupied at times. Not even because going off is also, you could be keeping the whole law, but you could be not just doing it. And your mind is really on the world, man. You know? And that's a lot of, you know, you Christians, a mind is just set on the world, man. You're set on being here in America and what you're going to do tomorrow. No matter what the prophecies is, you still want to, you know, make your life in, in America, man. Which, which is, 
is is weird to me, you know, like that you can't see it, but the most high have blinded you, you know. All right. Uh, verse six, it says, let thine ear now be attentive and thy eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant, which I pray before thee now day and night for the children of Israel, thy servants and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned. So now this is another step. It's confessing your faults to Yah by Shimei Shai and repenting. What did John say? Um, what did John the Baptist say? Repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Not keep doing it and saying your other grace. All right. Yahweh Shai was considered the kingdom of heaven, but at this point, the kingdom of heaven is coming. So you think that this defaulted? You know, you don't have to repent anymore? Now that Yahweh Shai um, died on the cross, he said he's not going to go up on the cross again. Why would you want him to go up on the cross again? Why would you want somebody to go through that? You know what I'm saying? Uh, verse 7 says, We have dealt corruptly against thee, and have not kept the commandments, nor the statutes, nor the judgments, which thou commandest thy servant Moses. All right? And, and this is this is why we are in the condition we are in today, man. Because Jake don't want to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. This thing is not technical or spiritual, man. You know? The reason why your your woman's acting like you um acting the way she is towards you, the reason the reason why your children act the way they toward um the way they do towards you, the reason why your own people, your own nation acts the way they do towards you, is all based off not keeping the commandments. Certain things is cause and effect. We're dealing with the commandments like adultery. If you you know if you commit adultery, then the, the husband gonna come after you. That's it's natural. You know what I'm saying? But but breaking commandments is a slippery slope spiritually to where the most high I let demons get loose and fuck your ass up, man. You know, because your wall is broken. All right. Uh, verse eight, it says, remember, I beseech thee the word that thou commandest thy servant Moses, saying, if ye transgress, I will scatter you abroad among the nations. There you go, too, you Christians. What happened? What are we doing today? Are we keeping the, the um the Bible to our best abilities? That's not the that's not the genre or the forte of, of niggas and Baptists, Methodists, AME, whatever church you in, Catholic. That's not the that's not the thing to 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 keep the uh commandments, the things that Moses commanded us commanded us to do. You know what I'm saying? Amongst many other things that the Lord commanded us to do. You know what I'm saying? And they, they, he said, we transgress, he will scatter us abroad among the nations. That's that's why we're here today. How can how can you say those Edomites in, in that land or, or, or the true children of Israel, and they're not scattered? They go freely. They walk amongst the nations. They dwell among the nations, man. We're the ones that are scattered amongst the nations. Okay? It says, but if ye turn unto me, and keep my commandments and do them, though there were of you um though there were of you cast out to the uttermost part of the heaven, yet will I gather them from thence and bring them unto the place that I have chosen to set my name there. Alright? It's talking about the holy land. The most high is gonna bring us back, he's gonna redeem us. Okay? But in this case, this was talking about in, in that particular time, but this is this also applies today, man. Okay? See here. All right, so, um, just wanted to bring this scripture out and bring another one out. But I wanted to bring out Hosea 1 and 10. It says, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And um, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. All right, this is that place. You know, because really this is the only captivity that we, we weren't called Israelites, man, that we lost our heritage, that we became a byword. Since there it shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living power. All right? This is this is uh this is that place 
where we're going to be called the sons of the living power, man. And we are being called the sons of the living power, even though Esau tried to use his rhetoric and his uh, uh, white supremacy to uh, suppress the truth. And, and it's not working because he, he used it <laughs> without any uh, fucking logic. He just throws it out there. It, it just works on senile and dumbass niggas, man. All right. Verse 10 of Nehemiah chapter 1, verse 10. It says, Now these are the servants and thy people whom thou hast redeemed by thy great power. What we redeem means to buy back, you know, and by thy strong hand. O Lord, I beseech thee, let now thine ear be attentive to the prayer of thy servant and to the prayer of thy servants who desire to fear thy name and prosper, which is the elect. I pray thee, thy servant this day, and grant him mercy in the sight of this man. For I was uh so for I was the king's cupbearer. So basically we you know, in that in that case there was there was in um under the king's persecution. But well, we're under the king's persecution now, man. You know what I'm saying? And we're supposed to be praying to the most high Yahweh Shim Yashai that he grant us uh, uh that he comes down and, and, and aids us and bring us deliverance, that he redeem us, that he buy us back, man. We're supposed to be in the same spirit, man. But no, niggas like playing around. Niggas like being under persecution. Niggas like a, um, a, a pocket full of fucking fiat notes. Niggas, niggas like their women walking around half naked. And you got to chase them. And then when you chase them, you either thirsty or uh, uh, you're, you're harassing. You know what I'm saying? You, you like the fact that you got to pay taxes and you're getting extorted. You like the fact that when your kids are raised up, you don't know what the fuck they're going to become based off Esau's teaching and what he's, his propaganda that he's putting out on in the media and in society. You like the fact that all your food ain't real. Y'all like that, man. Y'all don't want to be redeemed by the most high out of that. Because of a uh, fucking flat screen, ass injections, nice, uh, uh, I can't say nice cars, just just a car that looks nice because it ain't, ain't fucking with no chariot, you know? So... You niggas don't know what the kingdom of heaven looks like, man. That's all that is. You know, so I just wanted to go over that. You know what I'm saying? I just found that um, an, an interesting chapter. So uh, I hope you brothers were edified. And once again, I want to say, call halal to Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And y'all brothers stay up. Uh, Baha Hashem, Rechak, Hodash. Shalom.